Now, I don't want to get you started here, but many people advocate for this if it fits your macros uh, approach. Now, we know from a health perspective, this is terrible advice, right? Yeah, but absolutely. The, the way I see it is, right, if, if you have two people, one's on a diet eating only steak, and the other person's getting their protein from soy protein bars, you know, the, the phytoestrogens are tanking their testosterone, yeah. and they're having all these inflammatory foods. From just looking at logically from that point of view, I, I, I cannot understand how anyone can argue that if it fits your macros is how to go about bodybuilding, you know? So what what would you say to many people who have been, you know, misled down this path into the, if it fits your macros approach for gaining muscle? It's an idea based in a complete lack of understanding of human physiology and basic energetics and basic physics and basic science from the ground up. It is a theology, meaning it's an idea that is believed by a bunch of people who believe it with a fervor. It is like a religion. And unfortunately, it's not backed with evidence of a good quality. It's a propaganda story that's put together by someone who wants people to be believe a certain thing, think a certain way. And then what they do is they put that idea into as many heads as they can and have that message repeated as many times as possible with as much confidence as possible. And then suddenly we, we convince the whole world that something is so and they don't even question it anymore. Fruit mm -hmm. and vegetables are good for you. Safe and effective. Mm -hmm. Just two examples I can think of immediately that may or may not have been so on a case by case basis. Yeah. Now we know when it comes to building muscle, testosterone is incredibly important. You know, it's, it's a, quite literally a steroid that is injected. But mm. and now the average testosterone of a twenty year old male nowadays is mm -hmm. similar to what you know six year similar to what a six year old's levels were, you know, mm. back in the day. Mm. Do you think that, you know, this if it fits your macros approach with the, like we talked about, the soy protein bars and all this other garbage is mm. the primary factor for this? I think it's probably one that contributes on a case by case basis. Absolutely. If you're thinking more on a societal level, because the, the stats you're talking about are societal, yep. men in general now have much lower free teeth than they did in the 60s. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. What has changed in our lives since then? Well, quite a few things. Which one is the cause or how mm -hmm. much did each one contribute? If it's a mixed contributory mm -hmm. factor, don't know. However, here are some, I think, clear possible candidates. A much more toxic lifestyle in terms of the toxins in our environment. A vast change in the foods that we typically eat in uh, westernized or developed countries, if you like to think of them that way. A vast increase in the intake of industrialized seed oils extracted and put into our foods, our so-called foods. Poor advice, steering us away from meat and animal fat as the appropriate source of nutrition for a human being. Poor advice to poison our bodies with unnecessary toxic plant materials that can only defend themselves from us by poisoning us. They can't run away, dive into a pond, fly away, hide under a rock. They're rooted to the spot, so chemical warfare is the go for them. Um, yeah, I think all of those things definitely contribute. Um, in very, very recent years, there's been an intervention on a societal basis which has led to some issues in that regard, I think, personally. But we can't even talk about that, so we won't. Um, yeah. <laughs> awesome. Oh, technology. Technology, 5G and such, apparently is, is thought of as a problem as well. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, those kind of things. Oh, and much more screen time blue light after dark and all of that kind of stuff. Not mm -hmm. a good thing. Mm -hmm. I think those are your main contenders. Yeah. If you had to hypothesize and give an exact percentage across society as to mm -hmm. what degree food is, is the main cause of this, what, what would you do just off the top of your head? 
That would be a guess entirely, of course, because there's no yep. data I can tap to even yeah, formulate it. So I'm saying, oh, well, in my opinion, for whatever that's worth, mm -hmm. I think it's probably three quarters of it. Yeah. Diet. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Awesome. If you're enjoying this interview and you want to see more carnivore related content like this, consider subscribing down below.